What's going on guys? It's Chrono Streets. Welcome back to Pokemon Rejuvenation. So, we're continuing up the Help Center quest for Garen City now. And it looks like we have to face the two lackeys. Oh great. <coughs> At the time of recording this, I am still on the same session as the last episode, guys. So. Um, I am, I'm still ill. You guys don't mind. I'll try and mute the, um, recording whenever I cough, but it'll have to like that. Let's switch our canine and see what's got. Drink very quickly, sorry about that. <sighs> Probably be too late to edit that out. <laughs> uh, Alright, last your turn. Marina. Oh. So you better have a marine. I've been lied to. That was Battlefront all over again. I've been lied to. The good game is not good. EA. Second one, I had a bit fun with it. You heard down here. Hi. Hmm? The hidden library? Yes, I know of it. The library that was created by an ancient civilization in Avium, right? It was held in a secret underground location, which should be approximately be Giron. Here's the thing I have access to a lot of underground tunnels in both sides of Giron. I have never come across anything that could be taken to the library. Where the library is, it's an incredible discreet location. Sorry, that's all the information I know about the library. Alright, so I guess we gotta head back now. <coughs> and it looks like we didn't really get anything out of that. Now, someone's saying it's in South Avium, someone's saying it's under Gearin. Ugh! Paper, make up your mind! Please! I'm gonna just turn the game down a bit. That's yes. all right. Down here, what am I doing? I'm not saving Pidgey again. Doesn't exist. LOL. Hmm. <laughs> Actually answering. I thought we just had to um, pass things on. No, no, we had to uh, choose from a list. Oops. <laughs> Old trick. Right. There we go. Wrong with them. Is that one done? Probably grab my reward first. And great balls. Have two quests left to battle and another. Which I'm pretty sure we came across a few episodes ago, actually. I walked in before. Uh, but we were straight to a bit of a pre mentioned cutscene. Yeah, yeah. This one, yeah. I 
My mum gets a call about private hair care sessions down in Akron. They call apartments on far. Knowing Zubat's name, she couldn't get lost. I think something happened to her. The lady lives on the Akron building, second floor. Could you go talk to the client? When you're done talking to them, come back here. Then. <coughs> so we're gonna find the Akron building. Check. Yep. Second floor. The young girl. Just shit. Oh, this is a fetch quest, isn't it? Going to and fro. Those aren't always fun. But, you know, they're kind of necessary for certain games. We have to get them. Oh, we never succeed. Luckily, that wasn't too far. She had other appointments, so it's not possible. She told me she only had the one appointment that day. Velvet building, third floor. Velvet? What's the velvet building, man? Right? Like shop? No, not a velvet building. Quest for the building. I guess I'll be on the other side of Garen. Emerald. Mm. Oh, it kind of makes me think purple. I don't know if I'm insane thing. Oh no, this is velvet. No doubt in that. She's up to something. <coughs> Maybe she's buying Christmas presents, saying it's November. Huh? Ever thought of that? Maybe she doesn't want her daughter knowing what her Christmas present's going to be. But that's none of my business. Oh, so I'll see you again. What's your problem with the client? She had another appointment after that? She told me she had one appointment. One. One more place to think of. It's for a regular use of the Violet Building. I usually hang around the lobby. The client is a really ne nerdy work guy. Just have to watch TV all day. As usual, please report to my find. There. Please report your findings when you're done. It's lasting forever, this one. <coughs> I'm pretty sure the purple building is way over here. Indeed. I do like that, that they are coloured differently. Lobby watches TV all day. You. Huh? Rosaria? Oh, that hair is... Uh, yeah, she cut my hair, but she took too long, and so I sent her on her way. Oh, she seemed quite happy that I just missed her earlier and ran out at full speed. I was only upset at her. I didn't actually want her to leave. Now my hair looks obtuse. Completely and utterly disgusting. I tried to catch her, but I couldn't. However, I did see her talking to someone in front of the building, so maybe ask her for intel. Uh. <coughs> huh? Rosa? She actually bumped into me while leaving. She looks like she was in a complete hurry. I believe she was heading in the direction of Ocean Pier. You didn't hear that from me. Ah, so she went to the pier. She's hiding the Christmas presents. I see indeed, I see. Ah, oh, alright. This is it, Corona. What you find? Let's water Oceana Pier. What would my mother have to do Oceana Pier? Ugh, that's it. We're going there right now. Let's go, little Jen. So I did a little research on my own and found that some woman went inside this house. This absolutely must be her. People don't go to Oceania just to look pretty. 
She's a crack dealer. Huh? Looks extremely familiar. Mom? Rosa, can you wave my hair? Oh, of course, dear. That's why I'm here, you know? Stop ignoring me! Oh, Sasha, how did you find me? Is that all you had to say for yourself? Oh, more drama. You've been missing for almost three days, mother. You didn't leave any notes. You didn't tell me where you were going. You said that you only had one appointment for that day, and that'd be it. Something about her saying, please don't be angry. But I couldn't tell you where I was. Why? Why can't you tell me about this? Because if anyone found out I was giving haircuts to these children for free, then... Sasha, there are some things you just don't understand until you're older. As you know, we are a business that can change from Grand Dream City, and the mayor there is, well, she's very adamant on how things are ran. I don't care about that. You will. You just, just don't understand. As if. I don't even want to see you anymore. Sorry for wasting your time, Krona. It seems she didn't want to be found, but of course, I won't let you go without a reward. It's at the help plaza, you can obtain it there. Snap. Well, her mother was giving up free haircuts to children. Now, are these orphans? If they were orphans, that would make a lot more sentimental sense, kind of thing. If they had parents that were able to play, pay, why is she giving them for free? Oh. <coughs> I guess we'll never find out. I guess we have the one final quest. Oh, dears. Remember, pick up Zygarde Cube. Actually, at the bottom of the Crisola Hotel. I remember this one for a while. Or if I can go back and go for a haircut, which I guess gets Pokemon bonded. Get this time. Oh, you're the one who accepted my request. Thank you for doing so. It means a lot to me. My name is Novi. I'm wandering trailer trying to find worth in the world. So basically, I'm nothing special. What's your name? I see. Your name is Krona. What a wonderful name that is. Shall we get started? Good luck to you, Krona. May the stars shine upon us today. Ooh, different music. Wonder and Novi. Trumbi. Ooh! I won't be over my head here, look at that level! I'm over my head. <coughs> Fernando! Ekara! Oops! Why are you using a lot of generation? Wait a minute. Five, six, seven. Not a lot of generation seven Pokemon. 
Really? Time to attack, boys. It's a pain. Oh, well, I got crit. I got a crit. You know, it makes up for it. Romantis. <coughs> Fernando's got this. Fernando's got this battle locked down. I actually want to catch Romantis. I like Lorantis. Yeah, that doesn't really work with dealing. Young Goose. Bring it. Oh dear. I gotta hope I can fix this thing out quickly. Which I think I've done. Ready? Buy to free turn move, isn't it? Rip. Nice strategy, but didn't work out. Just didn't work. Kamala. Yeah, that means that's it's up, eh? Level 20. <laughs> Level 20. I am over my head right now. Yeah, use a super potion, I swear. Okay, I can work with a yawn. And is this going to be your starter? Let me guess. I don't have any grass types. Bullying's supposed to have a square effect, but it doesn't. Ghost ground. We battle a lot of times. She's gonna have a Palo Sand. I do like Palo Sand. I like trying to get the Palo Sand's design. Oh, action. Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. And that. Battle is won. Wow. I've never seen someone battle like that. Wow, sure are strong though. It was actually my first battle as an actual trainer. I practice mostly on wild Pokemon, so I freeze up whenever I try to battle actual people. I'll get better as time goes on, so I'm not too worried about things. Thank you so much for battling me. I hope you'll meet again soon. Does that mean I get to battle her at every help quest? That'd be pretty sweet, actually. I think that's it for the help quests. Especially in Garen City means in the next episode guys because I will be probably ending this early so we can start on the adventure fresh we will be going off to I believe my memory serves correctly route two to search for Melia that's if my memory serves correct I believe we're in to meet some new people. We're into a big plot point in the story. If it's anything like it was previous. I don't want to go, I want to go to you. Litleo. Nice. I want to check that one out quick before the end of the episode. Litleo might be a better than um, Arcanine. We'll really find out, won't we? Brave attack. Well, guys, I will see you in the next episode. For now, this is Chris Feats, and I'm signing off. See you later.